If you like steam and you like cars, you're going to like today's episode. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching Steam Culture. I'm Brent, and this is the famous Doble E20 Steam Car. Yeah, Steam Car is very famous among car aficionados and historians. What makes it famous is its unique design and performance. This thing goes over 600,000 miles before they had to do any maintenance on it. That's a historical fact because I read it on the internet. But it's famous for other reasons, too. In fact, the very famous Howard Hughes, famous industrialist, inventor. If you don't know about it, you can watch the movie The Aviator. You'll learn all about him. Drove this car 133 miles an hour in 1925, blazing fast. As a true tinkerer, he took a 750 PSI boiler that came with the car and jacked it up to about 2,000 PSI, which is where all that speed came from. This car is unique among steam cars. The, the design, like I said, the performance, there's a lot of unique features about it that we want to tell you more about the car. We're going to continue on with our episodes on steam cars. We're going to come back to the Doble steam car that we started a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the Doble B. We're going to make a big jump to the Doble Detroit, which was the most marketable of the steam cars. Now, it had some very, very unique features that made it the front runner, if you will, a real innovation in steam car design. Three things I want to tell you about. Now, first thing uh, I learned is that John Doble, which was Abner Doble's brother, was actually the more mechanical genius of the bunch. Now, in the car, the Doble Detroit, he put a special boiler called a flash boiler, which sounds instant because it is. The water literally just flashes into superheated steam because they use super thick tubes. So you got a fire that's circulating in that... Uh, cylinder in there. Actually, they made theirs in a rectangle. I'm not sure why, but there's a fire, fire circulating, and in the tubes is where the water goes. But in a flash boiler, the tubes are super thick. They get them red hot, so when they introduce the water, it flashes into steam. Now, the problem with most steam cars was it took 20 to 30 minutes to get a usable steam pressure in the boiler. They did it in the Doble Detroit in 90 seconds. Now, innovation number two was a condensing unit. Now, what did that mean? Well, when you make steam in the exhaust from the boiler, there is water vapor, which would just get vented into the atmosphere. So steam cars had to stop every 20 or 30, 40 miles to load back up on water. That was That's the problem with the steam car. You just can't carry enough water. Well, Doble figured out how to capture the water from the exhaust and reintroduce into the boiler so he could go like 1,200 miles before he had to stop for water. Huge innovation. And the third one, which I think is really cool, is that water is extremely corrosive. So the inside of the boiler and the tubes gets corroded and gets scaled, and you have to clean it out. Uh, interesting feature, they made a little deal where they would introduce engine oil from the car into the feed water for the boiler so that there was no corrosion or scale inside of the boiler. Way ahead of their time for steam car design. That's the Doble Detroit. Now, you can go find out all kinds of content if you really want to look and do a little more deeper dive. Jay Leno has a great video on because he owns one. In fact, if I recall correctly, the one he owns is actually um, the one that, um, who's that famous actor we talked about, Chuck? Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, that was his, uh, his vehicle, as legend has it. So go watch that video. Thanks for joining us. We'll get you something new next week. <laughs>